So earlier today, President and Chief Operating Officer of CBS Interactive officially announced that Star Trek Discovery is being renewed for a second season to appear on CBS All Access in the United States once again. So this was the official statement. In just six episodes, Star Trek Discovery has driven subscriber growth, critical acclaim, and huge global fan interest for the first premium service of this great franchise. This series has a remarkable creative team and a cast who have demonstrated the ability to carry on the Star Trek legacy. We are extremely proud of what they've accomplished and are thrilled to be bringing fans a second season of this tremendous series. So there you have it. It is definitely coming back for a second season. Now, don't be confused on what's about to happen. The show is being cut. The first season cut into two chapters. The first chapter ends on November 12th, and then it's going to pick back up in December with the second chapter of season one. So that what happens in January isn't what this is announcing. This is announcing at the end of 2018. We're getting a second season of the show, a new batch of episodes beyond these first initial two chapters. So real quick, before I tell you my thoughts on it, as well as what I think it all means, be sure to put your comments down below in the comment section. Are you excited about this? Are you angry about it? Because it means we're getting more of this version of Trek. What do you think about it? As well as what do you think it means? Do you think it has significance that it got it renewed? Or did you think it was just kind of like pretty obvious that this show is going to get renewed because CBS is putting a lot of eggs in the Star Trek Discovery basket? What do you think? Tell me down below. Let's talk about it. So if you've been following my channel, I've been doing reviews of the episodes with my sisters. I put out a couple editorials about it. Essentially, in my editorials, talking about how I don't particularly like the show thus far. I don't like the direction that they've taken things and how I'm frustrated that some of it isn't so family friendly for me to be able to watch with my kids. She's obviously too young anyway, no matter where the series has been, since she's only three. Do you like Star Trek? Yeah. See, she likes Star Trek. That's awesome. Still, she's too young for it, but this show, as they've designed it, is clearly far more adult-centric, and the intensity of adult themes, graphic violence, language, those types of things are clearly enhanced on this show, and that's a, a disappointment to me. But with all that said, I'm actually, I'm all for more Star Trek. Uh, I, I'm for this show getting a chance to find its footing. Star Trek The Next Generation, first season the weakest of all of them. So this follows the tradition of many Star Trek series that it takes a little while to get going, to find its footing, to get good. I I'm willing to give it a chance. I, I mean, the idea that there's Star Trek being made out there means there's hope that there will get good Star Trek that I actually like. Mm -hmm. A lot of the speculation is that this season and this show is kind of about the Federation forming into the Federation that we know. I'm willing to give it the time. So I see this just as a positive. Now I understand a lot of people really, really don't like this show and view it as a dumpster fire, uh, an assault on canon, and I can sympathize with a lot of that. But Star Trek is Star Trek, and having some Star Trek means there's hope of good Star Trek and the show to develop into something. And hopefully they'll learn from some of the mistakes of this season, feedback, and season two will become much closer to the show that we hope for it to be. Isn't that right? Yeah. See, she agrees with me. See, two generations thinking the same things on this. Um, so what do I think it means that it was review renewed for a second season? Very, very little. It means that the show wasn't a train wreck, which we already knew that. We already knew the show, and, and I mean critic, not uh, what I mean, both with critics and with um, just number of viewers, new subscribers. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, we know it wasn't a train wreck because you look on Rotten Tomatoes, it's got like an 85% from critics. And then if you look at their subscriber data, they've said subscriber data for CBS All Access, clearly they've stated it had the top single day, week, and month growth they've seen in their services history. So right from the get go, obviously it wasn't a bomb. Now I think also at the same time, you have to be fair, it also doesn't mean that the show's a big hit. It doesn't mean that they're perfectly happy with the results. It doesn't mean that, you know, obviously this guy's job is to make the show sound amazing and awesome. So they're gonna talk about it that way. I don't think it being renewed actually means any of that because they put so many eggs in the Star Trek Discovery is going to build up CBS All Access basket that you kind of have to go a, a second season. You kind of have to keep going. You can't just do one season with how much they've banked CBS All Access on this one show. Because the demographics of CBS, a lot of their shows, they're not, as best I can tell, shows that people tend to watch as frequently online through streaming as some of the other shows. They tend to have some older demographics with a lot of their shows. 
like my wife and I, we've been, we only, we don't have cable. We don't watch very little live. We watch through streaming services and we've had CBS All Access for a month now. We haven't watched anything but Star Trek Discovery. Just the types of shows they work don't tend to appeal to the type of people who do streaming services. So they're banking on Star Trek Discovery to be the show that makes them move into uh, the streaming services. And so naturally, Star Trek's going to be one that you're going to get people like me to sign up, even if I'm kind of angry about the show, even if I'm not happy with the full direction that they're going with it. And likewise, that uh, wouldn't typically subscribe to CBS All Access. I had it a couple years ago for a month just for the purpose of watching the last season of Person of Interest, and then we unsubscribed from it just because the types of shows they do tend to be for a very different demographic. So I think they're banking on it to try and drive subscribers to it. And so that, that's kind of the way it's working in the U.S. I know it's actually outside the U.S. It's on Netflix and other things like that. That sounds amazing. I wish that's what it was like here. Here it's on an exclusive extra service that I have to pay for. And so that's where we're at. What do you think about uh, Star Trek Discovery being renewed for a second season? Uh, good. You think it's good? That's good. High five. So that's my take on it. But what do you think about it? Tell me down below in the comment section. Do, are you excited about it? Are you angry about it? Because you're differing thoughts on Star Trek Discovery. And also, do you think it means anything? Do you think it has a significant meaning that this show has been renewed? Because for me, it just seemed like... It, it would have to totally bomb for it to not do that. I'm not surprised that it set records because I don't. Why would other people? Why would you sign up for CBS All Access if they didn't have Star Trek on it? Um, that's kind of my take on it. So that one didn't surprise me. It getting renewed doesn't subscribe uh, sub surprise me. Um, so that's my take on it. How about you? Tell me down below. What okay. <laughs> and with all that said, if you're new to my channel, ah, consider clicking that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and sometimes I talk about. TV news like you're watching right now, but I don't want to just talk about Star Trek and Star Trek news. I want to talk about Star Trek and Star Trek news with you as well as you, Chloe. Um, so join me in the comment section. Let's have a lively discussion and thank you so much for watching.